Welcome back to Antigua Barbuda today. The Caribbean Virtual Trade is set for June 17th, an event being hosted by the travel advisors selling the Caribbean TASC in partnership with the OECS Commission. Dereed Whitlock is here to discuss more details. Good morning. Good morning. I see we're twinning here. Bring Definitely. some sunshine. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> and we've worn the right colors for the right occasions. I see, right? I got the memo. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what is the travel advisor selling the Caribbean? Well, travel advisor selling the Caribbean is a private group. We connect digitally. Um, it comprises 8,200 um, travel advisors, mostly throughout North America. And it's been a huge resource in the industry, um, allowing travel advisors to connect, inspire each other. We try to provide all of the updates from the Caribbean. Um, of course, during COVID, with the um, various border reopenings, with the protocols, with um, airlines um, resuming services, properties reopening, we try to provide all of the information throughout the Caribbean and provide updates so that travel advisors can begin to reboot their businesses and meet the needs of their clients. Oh, wonderful. So let's talk about the expo that is, being, um, that is going to be taking place on June 17th. What is the main objective of it and what is the target audience? Well, first of all, the expo will be held in conjunction with the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS. They are our um, title sponsor and partner. So we are extremely grateful to them because we're using VFairs, which is a 3D um, digital platform that allows you to host conferences and other events virtually. So that really puts us in, in a great position to offer a great product. But back to your question about the objectives. First of all, we want to send a, send a strong signal to the travel community, both travel advisors and, of course, consumers, that the Caribbean has reopened for business. So we are partnering with uh, the OECS. The theme of the event is from survival to sustainability, charting the course or the future course of Caribbean tourism. So essentially, we are uh, trying to spotlight the Caribbean, the, um, the product in terms of how it has uh, reopened safety. It's about selling confidence. It's about um, just letting everyone know that the Caribbean is, um, we've reopened, we've, we've reopened safely, and that it's once again um, safe for travel advisors to send their clients and for travel enthusiasts to let them know that the Caribbean is one of the safest places that they, um, that they can travel to today um, in the recovery process of COVID because we're still going through it. Definitely. Um, you mentioned that um, this will be held virtually, correct? Correct. So what would make this event stand out being that is held online? Well, very interesting. Um, first of all, there are lots of people who are still not comfortable traveling and attending an indoor event. I know that there have been a few conferences, in-person conferences, but that level of comfort in terms of going to a conference facility and, um, you know, for example, Jacob Javits, where we typically have lots of trade shows and what have you. I personally couldn't imagine. I personally am not comfortable um, for that level of traffic. And I think that sentiment is shared by many. So by doing this virtually, it allows us to have a very wide geographical reach. So we're not limited by geography. We can, ha we can attract travel advisors throughout uh, North America, which is our main target. We also can attract suppliers. Um, hoteliers in Antigua, throughout the Caribbean can participate. And so with, if it's one thing that we've learned from COVID is that technology allows us to be more effective in sending our message out. 
So I think even as travel resumes and people and, of course, in-person conferences will come back, I think there will still always be a place for virtual or hybrid events because beyond the safety concerns, it really allows um, people to connect on a, um, on a higher level and also to um, transcend any geographical limitations. Yes, I absolutely agree with you in that regard to virtual, virtual conferences being, becoming a staple even as we look, move forward to normalcy. So right. at this webinar, what are some of the, the things that we could look forward to? Or well, we, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a packed program. It starts at, it's a 12, it's a one day, 12 hour program. It starts at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have to make sure we stress that because we have people um, joining us from various time zones. So it starts at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. PM, we have uh, lots of seminars for the travel trade. So the travel advisors, we have uh, a total of 15 sessions. Anything from how to use LinkedIn to, um, to generate more business, um, SEO marketing, um, you know, lots of really great tools, particularly digital tools that will help travel advisors reboot their business. Have them begin to look at their businesses a lot differently. You know, uh, travel will return and of course nothing beats um, touching, interacting with clients but we certainly want to bring attention to a lot of digital tools that travel advisors can use to really strengthen their sales strategies. So we have a packed agenda of um, educational sessions. We have roundtables. We, we're going to have uh, industry leaders from all sectors, um, the airlines, hospital, um, accommodations, um, crews, uh, lots of other adventure and so they're all going to be on stage looking at the industry and giving us a forecast of what we can expect and what their plans are and uh so it's, it's really a packed agenda and then at 5 p.m the travel enthusiasts meaning we're targeting the consumers and there will be a packed agenda of uh in cultural immersions uh, that we have put together for our um, consumers, cooking demonstrations. Um, we actually have a youth forum that's going to be um, moderated by our very own Rory Butler, where we look at uh, young people who have actually started businesses that are centered on sustainability. So the young man, BWC, I just loved his story. We're going to spotlight um, persons like him throughout the Caribbean who started businesses that are based on sustainability. Mm -hmm. So there's something for everyone. Certainly our main focus is the travel advisors, but we're also targeting consumers. So we invite everyone in Antigua and Barbuda who wants to learn more about the Caribbean to also tune in and to, to learn more about the industry. Um, they may get some inspiration from other Caribbean islands and just travel in general. Sounds like it will be a day full of events. <laughs> Certainly. And um, we're hearing a lot that the concept, revenge travel, which I think is so hilarious. <laughs> um, there are lots of people just waiting to, um, now that a lot of the restrictions have been lifted, we're slowly getting back to normalcy. Of course, we know it's not going to be an overnight fix. So we encourage people to continue to practice safety and of course, it's about selling confidence and getting people um, ready to, to travel again with confidence. But there is certainly a, a sector of society, um, a lot of millennials, millenn millennials mostly, who are just anxious to get back on the road. And the concept is that we're hearing is revenge travel. So we want to certainly be at the center of that, directing people um, on where to go, um, updating them on how ready and convincing them the Caribbean is ready, Antigua and Barbuda and the other Caribbean islands are ready to receive um, passengers safely again, and just slowly moving back 
to a point where people can once again enjoy travel and enjoy the Caribbean, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world, and interestingly, one of the most tourism dependent regions of the world. <laughs> Great. And before we go, could you um, let our audience know if they're interested in attending, how can they go about doing so? Well, our website is up. Go to Caribbean Travel Expo dot vfairs.com and register. You can also visit our website, tastc.org, or send us an email, info at tastc.org. Um, if there's information also on the OECS website about how you can reach us, uh, the link is there as well. And uh, we're looking to attract uh, upwards of a uh, thousand travel advisors and a thousand consumers. And so it's, it's a really great way for us to um, rally around our own product, send a message that Antigua and Barbuda is open for business and uh, help create some excitement about the about the region and the fact that we are slowly getting back to a point where people can travel and enjoy the Caribbean safely once again. Thank you so much for joining us today. It is really exciting that we're on track to open, open and back up our shores and hopefully that our tourism sector will flourish once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day. Same to you.